Hey guys, and today I'll be building a one-way road with an exclusive bus lane in City Skylines. This build requires some mods. A list of all the mods and assets I'm using in this video are in the description below. So the first one I want to do is go to my road section here and go to small heavy roads and pick a one-way road. I'm just going to pick the four lane one-way road. I'm going to place it like here. And then the next one I'm going to do is just build a intersection like this. And then just build another one-way road. These roads are going to be eventually contained in a downtown area. So just add another cross street here. Once I have my roads placed, what I next want to do is go to the search tab and search for slow. Basically, I'm looking for this red decal here since I want to mark where my bus lane is out of these four lanes. But first, what I also want to do is go to my transport tab, go to my bus line, and see where I can actually place a bus stop. And that's important because it tells me where I can actually place my dedicated lane. So it seems to be only on this side. So. Basically, I just know that I need to place the markings around here. So I'm just going to go back to my search. So now in order to place the markings, I have to do Shift P to turn on Proper Tree Anarchy. And I'm going to go to, the, go to the Prop Line tool. Go to this menu here, go to Options, and turn Prop Line Tool Anarchy on. So it looks like this. Well, it's going to go to Parameters and change the spacing so it becomes a seamless line so something like this so I'm going to start at the end of this intersection here and it's going to start placing these decals along this one lane until this intersection so it looks like this pretty much Next, what I want to do is search for bus lane. Then I'm going to put this bus lane decal on this dedicated lane. I'm just going to place it like this. Then I'm also going to search for an arrow. And just put it right above here. And then I'm going to next search for a bike lane or a bike middle. And this is then basically I can use the prop line tool, I can just put a spacing of 0.95 in. And this acts as like a, a separator. This new lane that we just basically just painted. So I just apply it like this. And pretty much the cosmetic part is done. So next what we have to do is actually make it work. So we have to go to our traffic manager and go to vehicle restrictions. And here I can turn everything off for this outer lane except buses. And then on every other lane I just ban buses. Then I'm going to click on this button that says apply vehicle restrictions to all road segments between two junctions. So pretty much. Everything from here to here basically has those same vehicle rules. So now it's all functional. So next, what we want to do is actually add a bus line. So I'm going to go to my bus line tool and just add a stop like somewhere around here for now. And it's just a temporary line that I can extend later. But just for demonstration, it's going to be there. Actually, I'm just going to move this a little bit over to here. So now we have a bus stop right here. Next, I'm going to place a bus shelter. I'm going to search for just glass and place this shelter asset down. And then use the movement mod to place it near the bus stop. And then I'm going to Light my camera in a way so I can align it to the pavement. 
and to the bus stop marker so like that actually since the bus stop sign overlaps I may want to move the shelter a little bit off center so it doesn't look too glitchy like this so then I just want to use surface painter and paint this area around the bus stop I don't have to be so exact since later I'm going to fill some buildings in this this gap and this gap is also going to be removed so then also in this bus stop I have to do a little bit of detailing by adding some benches so I'm just going to search for bench and I guess this expo station bench should work so I'm just going to quickly add some benches to this bus stop so next I'll just fill in this area and continue this bus lane on the other roads around here So you can also pave this in a curved section that was a little bit more challenging. I'm just have to also search for slow lane again. Go to my prop line tool. Then to set my spacing to 1.9. And I'll turn on the reform curve tool. It works pretty well, but it requires a bit of careful placement. But other than that, it works pretty much the same as paving it in a straight section of road. Once it's all built up like this, what you next want to do is fix some minor issues like paving. So I'm going to fill this inning areas in a surface painter so it's more smooth and consistent. So next I need to apply vehicle restrictions to all the bus lanes I made. So I go back to my traffic manager and go to vehicle restrictions. And then I'm going to just select this lane do what I did before and disallow all vehicles except buses for the rightmost lane and allow all vehicles except buses in this lane. Then I'll apply vehicle restrictions to all road segments so then it applies to all of these. Then I can do the same for these down here as well. Just like this. One thing to note in general with vehicle restrictions is that vehicles other than buses can actually enter the exclusive bus lane if they're accessing a building that is located on that side of the road. So for example, a cargo truck can enter the bus lane temporarily if they're dropping something off. Next, what's left to do is go to your bus line. Since I have IPT, I can go to my line details, select the 
bus type, I'm going to select this long bus, which is more like a bus rapid transit bus in the sense that it's at high capacity. So just add a couple on this line so I can wait for them to arrive. So once you're, once I see the buses here, that's pretty much it on how you can make bus lines on one-way roads in city skylines. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.